Hello and welcome to my channel Making Crafts. Today I am going to be working on Roxy's Weekly Challenge and this is for week 28 and in her challenge she used some invoices, some um, checks, some older vintage things like that and I didn't have any and so I decided not to print any out. What I'm going to use is I'm going to use some sheet music from a book and I've gone ahead and cut it down some because I wanted to cut all the extra white space off and the title off and kind of just have the sheet music itself. And then I'm going to use some sheets from this Seashores Field Guide. So I pulled out a few sheets that I want to try using. And then I'm also using some sheets from the a field guide to wildflowers and I pulled out some sheets and for this one what I was thinking was some of the sheets in here have the black and white papers so I'm going to be using some of those and then I did pull out one colored sheet and I may go back and pull out some more but these are so it's kind of hard to cut some of these out since they're all so close together so I thought I would try using some of these as well and then I also have a bird field guide and so I'm using that one and I'm just pulling out pages that has you know, large group is like this one. It would be really hard to cut all the birds out since they're all attached to the tree and peeking out of the tree. So I thought I would try the project using these book pages. And then I also had this already printed out. So I just printed on the back. And this is a sheet from my digital kit. And it's a Christmas digital kit. And so I'm going to be making a Christmas um, journal for before long. So I thought I would use some of these sheets that's going to be in my journals to make some of these little pockets. And so what I did is I did go back and just print some ledger paper on the back. And so some of it's lines, some of it's ledger. So there'd be something instead of white space. And so that's what I was struggling with about the digital checks and invoices is that um, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with the back side of them. Because Rachel's looks so cool because hers were real um, invoices. And so the backs had the paid stamped on them. And so I really, um, I really didn't have that, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to go through and stamp mine, and I didn't have any tea stain paper already dyed, so I figured, you know, I might as well just use what I have, some book pages, and see how that works out, since um, I didn't actually have any of those checks or invoices. So then we're also using some vellum. So I'm going to use clear vellum on the sheets that have um, pictures and things that you can see through, and then... I'm going to use this piece of vellum from Tim Holtz. I'm going to use it on the sheet music. So we're going to see how that'll turn out. And let's just, I figured I would play around with it and just see. So now I'm just going to cut my vellum down to the width of my sheets that I've cut down. And then I'll show you what we're doing. We're going to be making some vellum pockets on these. And I thought hers turned out really cute, so I wanted to try this. And since I didn't have the same supplies as hers. I still wanted to try it with these book pages and see what would see what would happen. Okay, let's just put all this together. And then these, I'll prep a few and then I'll come back and do a more because I don't know how much time I'll have to do all these. So let's just see here. I don't want to cut my actual book page. So Right there is where it's supposed to be. So there we go. Just do a few from each little book here. Let's see how I, and I did trim the, well no I didn't trim anything off of these. I did trim off the music sheets and I have left some rough edges on some of these so I may have to trim them off some. I didn't, I forgot about that. And let's see here. Let me get one more vellum sheet down so that I can work on a few more. And let's see, which other ones do I want to do? And then I will come back. Because a lot of times I prep too many items and then I don't, I don't actually get to them all. So I thought, let's just prep a few and then come back. Okay, I'm going to trim up that edge on that one. Straighten the edge where I poured out the book. And then let's see how wide is it just a little over three and three quarters so let's just take this and go just a little over three and three quarters 
and I may actually could use, I don't know, I may not cut two of these because I may could use this one sheet for both of those since they're so small. And then let's get one of our flowers and let's trim it down. Actually, I want to do one of the black and white flowers, some without any color. But this one's plain on the back. I think I will do that one because that could be a journaling spot. Or let's see, maybe, maybe I changed my mind. I'm going to use this one that has some writing on the back. And then I can always come back and do those if we have more time. So let's see here. And I have already started my timer. When I was talking, I reached over and pushed my timer. It's right there in front of me. So I've already got it started. If I cut that right. All right. And then let's do some of the printed vellum for the for the sheet music. So let's see how wide is that. And this is quite a bit wider, so let's see. That little mark there. So we'll just cut that down. And I'm just going to do it, I'll do it like that, and then I can use what's left over on other things. And let's see this one. It's a little bigger. Some of the sheet music, they're from different books. So I'm trying to think how I want to cut this. I think right that'd be fine. Okay, I'll save that for something else. So we'll have two of these. And then I, I think off the bottom here I can use some. So I will just lay another sheet music over there. That's the same width. This one is the same width as that one. And this one is that one. Okay, so we've got a few started. And then we'll come back and work on the rest of those if we have time. Okay. So what we want to do is we're going to start out by folding these down, folding them over to have a little flap. Since these are shorter but wider, I think that's still going to be okay. I think this will be a good little flap right there. Let's just try one, and then I can work on the others. I think I'll work it one at a time, putting them together. So then what we want to do, we want to tear... So I think I'm going to get my paper cutter up here because I think that this is just going to be way too long. So I want it to be just the length of the inside here. Maybe just a... Well, let's see. Yeah, because it doesn't need to be any bigger than that because it's not going to work if it is. So let's just cut it down to the length of the paper. Okay. That's why I thought that we probably will be able to use... Um, more than more than one okay so let's just tear that's how she did hers she just tore the edge and then she's going to put like that and then you have so mine's going to have to be a little different since I am using the colored and that's, that's okay when we do challenges like this I think that hers is just for ideas and then you're supposed to just take it and use it for how it works for you so how I'm going to do this is I'm going to have two little pockets instead of her first pocket was really long well I guess this one could be really long if I don't glue down the bottom here I could just glue the sides but I don't think I'm going to do that I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue and have two short pockets and I love how that music is showing through so that's going to work great that's why I wanted to have some sort of decoration on my vellum but at the same time at the same time be able to see through it instead of just putting solid pockets okay so I'm just going to eyeball it's going to go along that sheet music bottom there and I love this idea that she had and if I had some of those invoices or checks and I did look online you can there's different places that you can purchase them and she said that she had some in her shop as well but I just couldn't decide what I'd want to put on the back and since it didn't have the wouldn't have the paid stamp on the back. I just wasn't sure how I wanted to do it. So, I thought I will try this first, and I can always come back and try some checks later if I want to, but I thought this would work with some of the journals that I'm doing. I'm gonna take my bone folder, or my stainless little 
folder here, and I'm just going to press down where the glue is because I don't want that to pucker up and get in the way. And like, like with the vellum, it will sometimes pucker with glue, which with this glue, it doesn't do that bad because this glue with paper, it doesn't really wrinkle up or anything. And so this one works, works really good with vellum. I've been pleased with it with vellum. Some glues do not work good with vellum at all. It kind of wrinkles up and um, then you can see through and it just doesn't look good showing through. But this one, I haven't had many issues, which I am using colored vellum right now, but I haven't had a lot of issues with this glue in the vellum. But we shall see with the other sheet that's not, oops, I didn't want to get glue all over my mat. So I'm just going to put a piece of paper down and I'm just going to press that just to get it smoothed down. And I think I will stitch around mine as well. I think I'm going to stitch around my pockets, but I won't do that as part of my time as well. I don't, Rachel did not include that as part of her time, and I'm not going to as mine as well because I think that would take too long. I'm going to just add just a little bit more glue right there because I think I may have missed it or just come loose. So, yeah, you do have to press with the vellum to get it to work. But I like that. I've got two little pockets going different directions and then your little flap that goes over. And we'll come back and decorate these in a few minutes. Let's just put them together first. Okay, so I did have a piece left over here. Let's see if that was big enough. Oh, that's going to be plenty big, yes. So I'm going to fold that over. I'm going to fold it like this. This flap. And then... How do I want to do this one? I want to tear the pocket. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tear a little strip off the top here. And that will be my top pocket. And then I'm going to tear right here. There we go. So once again, with this one, I'm just going to have solid kind of here, and then I'll have this one over top of it, because I kind of like that. Okay. This, one, this part of this paper has a lot of print on it, but you can still see the sheet music through it. And I don't think I'm going to have to do much decorating with these with the, the printed vellum, since they are so... Um, so many so many colors already and designs but I may I'll still add a little bit of decoration I did slide that over wrong so let me see if I can do a slid over and I'm just going to press press it down really good I think I've got my paper in a bind here let me see if I can get that pressed over there we go Just have to work it for a few minutes because it takes a minute for that to dry. And then I'm just going to add this one to the bottom. And I think I've used Fabri-Tac before on vellum. I may should try that instead of this one. It may hold faster. I don't know. But this is doing okay, so I think I'll be fine with this. Okay, just press it down. I like that. I like all that little greenery. And there we have another one. I'll let that dry while we work on a couple more. I want to try a flower one here. And I do want to go this way. There we go. And then, okay, so we're going to do this one. I do need to trim it off to the length because if not, then the pockets are still not going to fit right. So let me just trim that off. Save that piece for later. Okay, so this one I'm going to tear here and this will be the larger pocket maybe oh I did 
I should not have cut that off. I did mess up there. Well, we can fix that. Because what I can do is I can just make my flap just a little longer. That won't be any big deal. And then I can just decorate up here and it won't it won't be that bad. Okay, that's no problem. So I'm going to just stick this one down because I do want to layer some of these like she did hers. And with the other vellum was a little hard where it was printed. But these clear, I should be able to do that. I should not have trimmed that one off. I know, I know for the next one. Because I am just trying this project with you all. I did not make any samples. I decided to just get started on it and film it all at the same time. I just went ahead and prepped a few things for the project, but that was it. And that's I just didn't want to take my whole 45 minutes digging through the books trying to figure out which pages, so I went ahead and prepped those. Okay, there we go. Just slide this over here and just press down. And we got another one put together. We'll let that dry. And let's try one of these little bitty ones. Now, which which side do I want to be the back and the front? So I want this to be the front. I think I will trim this down to have a just a smoother edge. So let's just fold this over. I do like that blue showing through. And the little seashells. And I'm going to be making some projects, ocean themed projects, fairly soon. So Let's see how, where do I want that? Right here would be a good place to tear, I think. If not, we can always change it. Let's see here. That's going to put it really close up there. I'm going to trim just a little bit more off. Or tear a little bit more off. Okay. So we have that there. And then this one, I'm just going to cut it. And I'm just going to eyeball it, how much I'm cutting. Just get a straight edge there. And I'm saving the other pieces because I'll probably have to use those on some of the other ones if I want, if I run out of the vellum where I cut it to use for like more than one sheet. Or I can use it on another project if I don't use it. I like to save it because vellum it's harder to come by than just regular paper. I actually don't even know how much vellum costs now. This pack that I'm using, I don't even know if there's a date on it. There's not. I have had this same pack of vellum for years. I mean, like years and years, probably 10 years or more. I just, I never really, I, I used to scrapbook, and that's why I bought the vellum, and I used it very sparingly in my scrapbooks, but then since I started junk journaling, I've started using it more. I've used it the most this year than I think I've ever used it, but I still have quite a few sheets left, so it does last for me anyways. But I found that I can print on it, and I really like printing on it, which for my um, scrapbooks years ago, I would just print words on it, and then I would attach it on top of you know some printed paper so that it, the, the design showed through with the words about the, whatever the scrapbook page was about. But I still didn't use that much, but now I do use a lot more. And recently I, and recently I bought the um, Tim Holtz paper that was vellum just to try it. And then uh, my sister sent me some paper uh, for my birthday and, um, she, uh, I was dog sitting for her, so she sent me, during my birthday, she sent me some paper. I'm trying to find my needle real quick. I'm thinking that maybe what fell. But she sent me some paper that has vellum, but I didn't get that out tonight. I've been saving it for another project. 
I'm going to pause the video for just a second because my little girl, my little schnauzer is right in the floor behind me. And I think I've dropped my needle. So let me check and make sure that needle's not in the floor. Okay, I did find my needle. It was in the floor. And I was concerned about that because um, my little girls, my two little schnauzers, they like to stay near my feet. And I was afraid that one of them would pick it up and get hurt and swallow it or something. So... Sorry for that. I did not pause my time, so I'm just going to keep going because I forgot to pause the time because I was really in a hurry to make sure because one of the girls was walking around my feet and I was concerned that she may have already picked it up. She, they like to pick up anything I drop and I say that one of them is a junk journaler because every time I drop a piece of paper, she is right there picking it up and then she chews it before I can get to it. And so, um, she's just, I figure she's just age in the paper, which I always have to trash them, but we think it's cute. She, But I'm always afraid she's going to swallow it, so I try to keep an eye out when I'm crafting, and especially with the needles or anything sharp. And I, I also didn't want to have to step on it. I didn't want to wind up stepping on it. And So let's see. With this one, I'm just going to tear. Let's see. I'm going to tear right in here. So, and I wanted to put just a dip in it like that. I don't know if you can see on camera or not, but yeah, so I'm just going to add that there. And I like this one, how you, there's no way I could have fussy cut all those little birds out. So this is a way to use this page up because I like all the little birds on it, but there was no way to fussy cut those birds. And so this is a good way to use the page and be able to show off the little birds. And I'm behind on a lot of the challenges. You'll see that I'm missing several weeks in my on my channel of Roxy's Weekly Challenges. And I do have some that I filmed, and I just haven't got uploaded. So those, I need, that one I need to upload. I know I have at least one that I haven't uploaded. I think I uploaded the other one already. But I do need to get that uploaded. I just haven't had the time to do that. I've been working on some other projects. So I didn't do that one, but I haven't got to work on several of the last few weekly challenges. So I do want to do that too. So when I look, watch this one today, I said, I'm going to go ahead and it's actually Tuesday. And so they come out on Monday. And so I decided since I watched it this afternoon that I was going to work on it tonight. And it looked like a lot of fun. So I wanted to try it. And I miss getting my challenges done because I love being able to have projects already completed, ephemera already completed, little pockets, little different things that I can use in my journals and I can just pull them out and use them. And so I miss doing that. So I got to get back on track with them. And I'm going to go back and work on some of the challenges that she had that I missed, but I'm not sure when because I've got several big projects going on right now, so we will see. But I'll get to them. I'm just, I did have just, I don't, I'm trying not to cut my paper, but I did have, um, it was hanging over some, so. Okay, so that's cute. And now let's work on this one. Uh, let's see, what side do I want? Do I want the birds or do I want the words? I want the birds. I think those are too cute not to. So I'm just going to fold this over and then I'm just going to decide where I want my pocket and just tear it and then I'll attach it here. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to decorate these with the, I already got the birds in the background too, but we'll figure it out. I'll have to look and see what I got. Like I said, I hadn't tried any of these. This is my first time trying them, so we will see. Making sure that wasn't too wide and I got, got it on there. Pressing it down. And then, is this one going to be too big? I think so. So I'm just going to 
trim just a little off so that it fits good on there. I'm not sure what you could use this little bitty piece for. If you got any ideas of what to use the little strips of vellum for, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your ideas because I'm going to have quite a few tonight and I want to hold on to them and see what I can do with them. But, I'm, but at the moment, I don't have any ideas of what I could use them for. I need to go through my scraps. I have a bin of just leftover papers from projects I've worked on. And I need to go through that bin and have a day where I just make things with, <clears throat> excuse me, I make things with the scraps. So just make a variety of things that goes along with the size of scrap that I have. Okay. Trim just the paper here. The I didn't straighten that out. It's just where I've ripped it out of the book. Let's see how much time is left on the timer. I've got 19 minutes left, so I can do a few more. So for the Christmas one, I'm going to use this as the back so that it can be a journaling spot. And so this is going to be where the vellum goes. And it's going to be a little longer than the other ones. But narrow. Let's see here. Here's my vellum. Okay, so I want my pocket. So I, what I'm doing is just eyeballing how far down I want my pocket to be. And then, so I want it about right there. So then I'm just going to reach down here and tear it. I'm trying to put a little curve in it when I tear it so that it has a little bit of design. And then that will fit perfect like that. So this is going to look perfect for this one. And this is the paper that's in my shop. The new kit that I put out. I only have one kit out in my shop. The first kit that I made is actually free, and I'm going to have I'm going to change where it's at in the next week or two. The link to it so that it'll be easier to get to. And then I do also have some of this paper. This might be one of the sheets that's in the actually in the free kit. If you, um, I will link that below where you can get some of the free kit of my Christmas papers. I made a little kit up that was for free, and it is on my um oh gosh what's the site called i think the site's called buy me a coffee buy a coffee something like that but i'll just link it below because i can't remember and i will link to it so you can download it and if you've downloaded it, the first time i uploaded it to that site there was some printing issues so i have updated it so if you downloaded it and several weeks ago and had any printing issues be sure to go back and re-download it now because the file has been updated so that there shouldn't be any issues printing the free file. I didn't have any issues with the one that was on my Etsy site, but the one I put on the Buy Me A Coffee site, it wasn't letting people print it, and so I just went in and fixed that and uploaded it again. So you shouldn't have any issues. If you do, please let me know because I can work on it and fix it. Sometimes these things happen with computers and you don't realize it until somebody lets you know. So, let's see, I want that pocket to go. I want the flap to cover it, but about right there. And so then I'm just gonna tear it right here. Okay, right here. Well, that tear, tore pretty straight, didn't it? That's okay. Okay, so we're gonna add that there. And I know it seems early to be doing Christmas, but I'm doing these for Christmas in July. And so I want to get around to making a journal for Christmas in July. So that's going to be one of the projects I work on the next week or two, week or so, I guess, before July is over with. This past weekend, I was working on a bee, um, kind of sunflowers and bee journal for you know, my design teams. And so I didn't get around to doing anything else. So I did complete that one, and that video will be coming out this week. Hopefully this week if I can get it edited. Or if this one doesn't get uploaded before it, then it may already be out. Sometimes I upload in a different order than I film. 
It just depends. Okay. So that's, and this is just regular copy paper because I was just printing some of these out, testing, doing test pages when I was making my um, digital. And so this is just the test pages. I don't want to waste them. So this is just the test pages that I printed out. So I'm just, they were on regular copy paper. So I'm just using those. I'm trying to decide. I think I'll do it like this. Got this flap here. And then... I want it to be, you want to tear it so that it's right under your flap. So here we go. Then just add a little glue. There we go. I did get a little wild with the glue there. Hopefully it don't show through too bad. I am noticing that it does act different, the glue and the vellum together on copy paper versus the book pages. So the book pages did not buckle that bad and you didn't see the glue underneath. But now with the printed pages, this copy paper, I am seeing it. But I'm wondering if it's just because it's copy paper. I wonder if I use my premium paper if it would be different. I'll have to try that and see. Because I don't remember noticing it before. And when it dries, I may not see it at all. Oops, I forgot the next, po the second pocket, didn't I? So what I'm doing, I'm doing just like Rachel did. This one's dipping down, so I'm going to have this one go the opposite direction. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, okay. I done got myself confused looking at it. You don't need to use much glue on vellum, though, because it will... Make a mess. Okay, so I'm just going to add this one here. I think these would be nice to put little, you could put tags in them in your journal. You could add it with ephemera. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think it'd be nice to put ephemera pieces in it so that um, whoever gets the journal would have pieces to use in their journal. I like doing that. And let's see here, we've gotten this many done. And my timer is, let's see, I've got 13 minutes left. So I think I'm going to just go ahead and work on decorating these. And then we can make more up if I have more time. Let me just leave this here in case of the glue. Okay, so let's take a look here. Well, let me see here, okay. Let's start with the flower one. So it's black and white, so we need to do something. I'm thinking about, let me see, just adding. I've got some flowers here that I've cut out a long time ago from, it might have been from this field guide right here. They, they may have come from this. I'm not 100% certain that they, that they did. I had another wildflowers book, and they may have come from that book. They do feel different, so I think that's they came from the Wildflower book. So I think the birds did come from this bird book, though, that's in this tin. So let me see here. I could always just cut it off if I have that book. I do kind of like that little flower there. And then I'll just trim it off. And then let's see. Or do I want to put one of the pink ones since add some color? Let me see what else is in here, too, real quick. Don't know what to take a lot of, long time deciding, but because all the flowers are pretty, but I just wanted to see what's in here. It's been a while since I looked through it. That might be cute right there. Or this is pretty, too. I like that. So I'm just going to, well, it is black and white on it, too. It's white flowers, but that still would be kind of dainty like. I need to put something up there. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to add the pink flowers down here. And then, so many choices. Too many choices. That actually might be better. Just to put that right there. So that when the flap is closed, you can still, still see the flower. 
and just looking. I want a. I have some stamps somewhere that I don't that I've made up, but I want it just um, maybe just a little some little something to put with it. Kind of put something to kind of add something to it. And I could take a piece of tea stain paper. Let's see, what would that look like? Just to add that. Let's just take a little piece. And maybe we put them here. And then put the flower. And maybe this right here. Honestly, I think I just like the little flower with the little piece on it right there. Don't think it needs much more. Just looking, just looking. Okay, I'm going to put this flower here. I can't take a lot of time. I like to really get picky sometimes when I am decorating these things and I forget that really anything's going to look good and I don't have to be so picky because this is just one element to it all. Okay, I like that. Now do I want to slip him that little piece in somewhere? Kind of looks dainty by itself, and that's a little bird. It might can go somewhere else. Let me put this oops needle where I don't lose it. I'm always struggling with that needle. I think a little butterfly would also look cute added to the page here. Let's see if I have one small enough. Let's see. What if I put hmm, maybe right in here a butterfly or right there. That's pretty. And then we want to make a tab. Let me see what color tab I'm going to be using. And that one might be pretty. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to fold it in half and just use my tab punch to... So what you do is, if you've not done this before with this tab punch, so on the packaging with this punch, it shows you that you have to make two halves but you really don't. You can make a whole tab just folding your paper in half. And then what you want to do is, oops, I've got so many pieces from this weekend. I made tabs this weekend, you can see. So what you want to do is, I'm going to do this one right here because I want this pink spot that's on this paper. But you want to just take and you just slide it in there, the folded edge to the top, and just be sure to put your folded edge far enough down that it doesn't chop into it. I don't know if you can see that. And so then, see, it, then it's folded and you already have a tab, so you don't have to glue two pieces together. And I really love this tab punch. So I'm just going to put a little pink here. It's got a little pink spot, so I'm just putting the tab so it matches the flower. Maybe I should have put something behind the flower. It is kind of getting lost. But these are supposed to be simple, so no big deal. Just trying it out. And I may go back and ink these once I get done. Ink around them. So I like the tab. Now I'm wondering about this butterfly, if he's the right color, or do I need a different color butterfly? Let's see what I have in here. I think I do have some. May have some with pink on it, but I don't know if it's small enough. Underneath here I see smaller ones. No, that's not working. I don't know. Try, I know what I'm looking for, but I don't know if I'm going to find it. And I have a timer going, so that's another thing. I don't want to... How does that look? It's too big. How about this one? I wish he was the opposite direction. 
Okie dokie, let's see. That one may be better. Okay, that one will work. Or I could have it when you open it up, you see the butterfly inside. Let's just decorate up here. I do want to ink him. Let me find my brown. I don't like all the white around the butterfly, so I do want to ink him just a bit. Really quickly. And then we'll glue him on. put it over top of the tab just a little. I like that. I think this could have used a little something more down here, but maybe I could add just a little bit more greenery. I may have to come back to that because that one I'm just not totally thrilled with it. Just layering some flowers up like a little flower garden. May would work. Or maybe something different color. What if? Okay, we're going to leave that one and we will come back to it later. I can make a decision then. And I don't know, maybe for the back side, I do add just a flower going up the back. just a little something added to the back to give it a little decoration. So we'll let that one dry. That's okay. So once you add things in there too, it's going to change the look. So let me find some little something to add. I've got some, well I had them, but now I probably won't be able to find them now that I'm on the time crunch. I had some Tim Holtz little cards I had cut out. Here's one kind of a little idea. So when you add a little something, then there's going to be something behind him. So that's cute. I'll just leave that card in there. Okay, so this one's really, really done up already. I think we just need something at the top, and I think I'm going to use something from the Paper Princess. I think these are with the darker backgrounds from her shop, and those are just some fussy cuts. If I haven't used them all up, I'm going to find some little something to use. Let's see here. I may need to get to printing some more things. I think I like that. So, or and then this little one right here. And I'm just going to trim it off. So I think that's going to go there. And then my tab, I think I'm going to use let me see. Let me see. Kind of like this. Okay. So let me set all that aside, and I'm going to have to cut this. Let me just trim this down. And I'm just eyeballing it. I just, that's what I do when I do these tabs. I just eyeball it to see. There's probably a certain size you could do and need to know, but I just, this is how I do it. And so far it's worked for me. I guess if it's too big, I'll have to cut it down, but see, it's going to punch that bottom anyway, so you don't have to worry about how wide it is. Just be sure that it's wide enough to leave a wide enough to leave a gap at the top there, so that you make a full tab. Okay, and so then I'm just going to stick that one. Let me stick it over here, and then put. Nope, the flower's curved that way, so it's going over here, so that the flower does not go the wrong direction. Okay. I need to find my needle again. The thing stresses me so bad. I think I need one of those, what do they call them, where you, you have the, oh goodness, has all the different beads and pearls on it and you stick it in your glue. I'm not sure what you call that now, but I think that's what I need to 
look on Etsy and order one of these days because I think you could keep up with it a lot easier that way. Wouldn't be losing just a needle. It would have all those decorations on it that would be big enough that you wouldn't have to worry about your looking for your needle. Because as you can see, I make such a huge mess. Okay, there's my timer. Wow, that time went back really fast, didn't it? Or maybe if not for you, but for me it did. It seemed like it just flew by. These are so much fun. I always have fun with all of these challenges, though. And I think that's, that's why the time does fly by. That 45 minutes goes by so quickly because these are so much fun. It's projects that you don't... Just things I hadn't thought of or just... Mass making, I think, is fun anyway because you just focus on one thing that you're making and you don't have to... You don't have to really stress about thinking about what all you should be making. I'm going to decorate a few more, so um, let's just see. Kind of like him down here with this, but I'm going to try my Fabri-Tac because the last time when I glued that flower on, it kind of wrinkled, so I'm just going to see what the Fabri-Tac does because I was thinking I have used something before and it didn't wrinkle, but I, but I could be... I thought that was the glue I used before that didn't wrinkle. So, I'm not sure, but I think he's cute just having him sticking right there with the flower. Let's just try that and see. And then, what should I put up here? I know I need a tab, and I think with the yellows, I'm going to use a piece of this. I think I have a piece floating around, but I can just use this one. This is from some Tim Holtz paper as well. This is... Project I worked on this week in, I used Tim Holtz paper with the digital file that I had. So I have a lot of this scrap laying on my desk. Well, I like to just use what's laying on my desk a lot of times. That way I can use up my scrap. And most of the time it will work with whatever you're doing. So, so I'm just going to put it down this end because it doesn't matter which piece I get, just so it has that yellow in it. There we go. And I'm just going to add it, and I'm going to I'm going to add it over here since I do have the bird on this side. I like to kind of balance things out, not have too much on one side. Which I may just add some decoration to the flap too, because the flap is just sheet music, so it could use more than just a tab. that like that and on the back I could add like a since the front has a lot of yellow I think I'll just add a big yellow butterfly across the back like that I do want to darken the white around them when I cut these out I chose to leave some white edge I, I just feel like when I cut with my silhouette that's what I cut these out with it just seems to do better if it has just a little edge around the image I don't know why, but for some reason it does. So that's what I do. And then I just darken the edge around it, which I kind of like the look of a little edge around it instead of cut right up to the lines. I don't know why, but I do. When I fussy cut, I never really cut right up to the lines. I end up leaving a little edge around it. Okay, so that's pretty. I like that. So it's another one done. And... Let's just see what we have here. I know my time is getting longer. But, so, in my 45 minutes, I did finish decorating two, almost, I guess not that one, and then, but I got several made up. Let's do a Christmas one, and then I can stop and finish these. I can finish these off camera. Let's just move some of this out of the way. And for the Christmas... You can see some of it through, and I've got, I did pull out some Christmas paper to do a tab that may be too dark. Here's another little piece that was, I thought I liked that one. So I'll just cut it and make my tab, and then we'll decide if I'm going to decorate it with anything. 
I did not pull out Christmas decorations, so I may not be decorating it for now. I, did, I think I may have pulled out Christmas stamps, though, but I could put a stamp there. Let me see once I punch this out. Okay. This, this right here is actually not Christmas paper, but I did use it last year in my um, Christmas journal, and so it was in the box of leftovers from Christmas. So I thought, well, why don't I just use it on these Christmas papers? I like the colors in it. And I'm going to put this tab over here just to do one different from the rest. And then, let me see what stamp I pulled out. See here, there's one. I forgot that I pulled these out. They're just sayings, just Christmas sayings. I could do Merry and Bright, or I could do, oh, what fun would be a cool one. Trying to decide. This one says, do not open till Christmas. From Santa. Oh, what fun. I like the do not open till Christmas. So let's just do that one. And I'm going to have to find my... Well, if these, some of these are just so hard to get off the... Um, off their plastic. I can find my stamping block and some red ink. This is red, so let me see. I don't know what color this actually is. But, yeah, it says red geranium, so I think that should work. So let's just take and... I don't know if I've ever stamped this one, so I'm going to stamp it off on the paper first because I always find that the first time you stamp something, it is... Sometimes it doesn't stamp as well, so you have to... Stamp it a couple of times. That looks good though. The eye isn't working. I like that. Oh, but I didn't get the top of it that time. I may need to just figure out how to use the stamp actually. It's a little crooked. Some of these are hard to get to lay straight. And here's my phone. A lot of times if you stamp on If you put foam underneath, then it will stamp better. So let's just go for it and see. I guess if we mess up, I can always just cover it up. Put like a put something over it. it didn't look like the eye was getting enough ink. Okay, so let me see here. I just kind of want to line it up with that. I have never been good at stamping words, so I always get nervous because I always get the words crooked. So I probably did it again. Not too bad, though. That's not bad at all. That isn't bad. So I like that. Don't open it until Christmas. Then I'll have to put some Christmas ephemera in there. And let's see. What do I have here? There's another Christmas one. Let's just stamp it real quick, too, while we got these out. While I have these stamps out, I want to finish it. How about... Mm -hmm -hmm. I like the no peeking. That might be cute. Let's just use that one. Or the Jolly. It's up here and it's easy to get, too. Let's just use it. Jolly. Be Jolly is what it says, not Jolly. It says Be Jolly. I'm pretty sure I've used this one before. But let me stamp off and make sure. Yeah, that looks fine. So first I'll put it on here, and then I will add my tap. That was copy paper one to bend. That looks good, though. I like that. It says Be Jolly. And I think I'm just going to make another tab using the same paper. Since these probably will not go in the same journal. I was hoping to use this one, but it may have gotten too short. I'm 
trying to see why it's not going through there. Well, it, if it doesn't want to go, then I'd have to use a different one. Okay, give up on that one. And I just seen this one laying here, and I like this one anyway. So I want to do this one with it. I do want to try something different. That's what I'm going to do. Since that's all the decorations I have right now out for Christmas is the stamps, I'm not going to decorate these up. I can always, when I put them in my journal, I can decorate them then, so it's no big deal. Okay, there we go. I'll just press that down. Really good. So I'm still going to stitch around these and I'm still going to ink them. And I do want to do this one and then I'm going to be done. What tab do I want to put on this one? It's got the birds. And then I'm going to just put a bird up there. So let me grab a bird. And these birds are from Rachel The um, that I'm getting out of this box. My other, if that other one came from this box, then that's from Rachel as well. I can't remember which box I grabbed it out of. From Roxy Creations, I guess I should say that, not just Rachel. But Roxy Creations on Etsy is where these little birds who come from and I printed them out pretty large I probably should have made smaller ones because I'm not sure that any of them is going to fit on um, that might be cool to have it on the outside there where you see the birds on the inside but then it would need something up there there we go and then, I think there's a small one. I do have, if I didn't want to put him there, I do have some smaller birds that could go. But this just came out of the same book. That would look cute though, wouldn't it? Right there. Okay. I do like that. And I need a tab. And I think I'm just going to go with another one of these. This side, or I think I'll do that side right there. Okay. Just going to stick the tab right here. cut his little tree branch off a little bit. I'm going to see if I if I can get him on here without doing that, but I want his little head not to be yeah, I can just trim a little bit off that branch. So that's not going to be a problem. There we go. That looks good. That's all I need to do for that one, I think. And I might could put a bird on the back just to decorate it up a little bit. But any of the birds will do. I kind of like him just sitting there. Okay. Just going to set him on those little words there. Try to slide him up just a little. Okay. All right, so let's just look at the ones I got that I have finished. I have a couple more that I can work on. I've got the little, the little C one, and then I have another Christmas one and another bird one to work on, but I can work on those later. I've got them made together, so 
they wouldn't need much done to them anyway to put them in a journal. So they're made up and I can add to them when I'm adding it to the journal. So let's look and see which ones we've got done here. Hold on just a second. Let me just move some of this stuff out of the way so we can take a good look at them. So we've got this little Christmas one done. And I think it's going to look really cute to put. I think the ephemera for this one could be like little Christmas stamps and um, like postage type stamps. But, you know, we make up the little Christmas looking ones and some cute Christmas ephemera. I think we be really cute in this. Maybe some Christmas tickets. Thanks, it's just Christmassy. Same thing for this one. Or even little die cuts of tree. Like this one's big enough. I could put die cuts for trees and for reindeer and for just different die cuts that I have could go in those. And then, then here we've, we can put all kinds of ephemera in these. And this is the little bird with the sheet music. And we'll put the butterfly on the back. And then we've got this one where we just added the plant. And I might go back and put, I've forgotten about the back of this one. I may go back and just put a plant on the back of this one as well. And then we've got this one. And this is not my favorite, so I may go back and work on this one. I want to add some little something else. Maybe I could add, I could stamp right here and add some little wording. Or I may could even just add a label of some sort and make it just a little better. So I'll probably do that. I'll probably go back and either stamp it or add something right there and then this one I think it's turned out cute because you can see the little birds through here I like that I didn't want to cover that up at all how the little birds go around the corner of the page and so I think that's really cute with that on the top and then we've got a little bird on the back so these are really cute so I got I got what three done three or so done in the 45 minutes and then after that just a few more so I really like these well, thank you so much for watching, and thank you for hanging out with me as I created these, and I hope you have a great day, and bye.